hello everyone welcome back to vb.net tutorials today we are going to speak about collections uh, last time we spoke about arrays and so how we can process lots of amounts of information using them today we are going to speak about something very similar and that is collections so let's start to see what are the properties of collections okay so first thing the collections are used like arrays uh, we already know that arrays are used to store number of elements and collections are the same you use them to store number of elements okay they are very very similar okay now let's go to the second property arrays first index is zero while collection first index is, uh, index is one now if you remember uh, if you remember last tutorial the uh, the index for this element is zero this one is one this one is two and three okay so if you write something like v equal a over three it will point to here instead of here because we started with zero and if you write something like v equal a of one it will point to the 22 okay now in collect in the collection it's different if you write the same statement you will find that uh, v equals c of three would actually point to 43 okay and v equals c of one will actually point to the value 33 that's because the uh, first element index is one okay so this is the second difference now let's go to the th uh, sorry let's go to the third property now all array elements are the same type while uh, collection elements can be different uh, when you create an array of integer all the elements are integer when you create an array of string all the elements are string and so on for byte real and so on while the collection you define it once and you can store any data type the same collection can store integer real string date byte single any other kind of data type uh, okay so this is also an important difference you uh, usually uh, in uh, when you write uh, your applications you will not store a different uh, different data types in your in the collections you will stick to one data type however you still have the option to use uh, and any kind of data type uh, 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 sorry a combination of different data types in the same collection okay now the size of array is fixed while the size of collection changes if you have an array of uh, four elements you will only be able to store four elements there is a way actually to increase the number of elements or decrease them but in the array if you add or remove uh, uh, elements the addition of elements will uh, will ha will happen to the end of the array uh, to, to the end it means here after 55 okay and if you want to insert the value in here at the location of 22 you will have to shift the element and uh, shift all these elements and insert the value here in the collection is different at any point in time you can insert elements in any location or remove elements from any location and uh, uh, you, you don't have to do any extra coding or any further step it's very straightforward very easy to, to work with so it's very convenient okay now let's go to the array elements uh, and how you can overwrite them if you write something like a over 3 equals 55 uh, it's actually valid and you can do this right uh, and uh, it will access the memory content and overwrite it while in collection if you wrote something uh, similar uh, actually this will not work at all what you will get you will get a compilation error and actually uh, to do something similar to the array uh, you'll have to work around this uh, this problem and a 